Hello, it's Jackie Green from GA Interior Solutions, where we are helping build a stronger design community through professional training and educational resources. Today I have a quick tutorial on how to import finished material to SketchUp 2020. I absolutely love SketchUp for its versatility with materials. You can quickly add a finished material in seconds and be on your way, whereas other programs, it takes a bit more work. Here I'm going to add stone to this fireplace. First, I will look for a material using a Google search. I have a couple of hints. When searching online for a material, such as a stone, be sure to set your parameters for large images. Also, use the finished material plus the word seamless and texture in the search bar. This will help you find images that will not leave an unwanted seam or line. This doesn't always work, but it is a good start. Many manufacturers offer textures on their website, and these are typically good to use as well. Once you find your finished material, save it as a JPEG. I recommend creating a library of textures for future use. To import the material, I started with creating a 2D square to use over and over to import different materials. I do not group this square, and I will eventually delete it. I will select the face of the square, and this lets SketchUp know what surface I will be adding the material. Next, I will click on the File tab and I will select Import. This will bring me to my SketchUp texture library. Now I'm going to scroll down and find the texture that I just saved, which happens to be called Rock Tile. I'm going to bring this in, use Image As, a texture. I want to make sure this is selected. And then I'm going to say Import. Now the tile material is on my cursor. I'm going to take it here in the corner in the lower left corner, click one time, drag it up to the upper right corner, and click again. I have now imported the material. However, I need to add it into my material bucket. If you do not see your material bucket in the default tray, as if I just accidentally shut it, you just go to Window, Default Tray, and Materials. In Materials, you will see a sample paint eyedropper. You will select the sample eyedropper, bring it over, and suck up the material so now it's back in my cursor and in my material bucket. I'm going to hit spacebar to get out of this command, and I'm going to go back to my fireplace. Now with the fireplace, I'm going to double click it so that I'm in edit mode, select the surface that I want to apply the texture to, grab stone, and click on the surface. I can also select the sides to add the surface there as well. And I'm going to go ahead and add the tile in here. Hit spacebar and I'm out of that command. Now when I look at this tile, I notice the stone appears to be a little bit big. So I wanna edit that, not a problem. I have the materials over here. I go into edit and here I can change different information regarding that particular texture. I can change the size right here by just selecting a different number. Here I made it a little bit smaller and seems more proportional to the room. I could also change the opacity, also the color difference. I could make it a little lighter, a little darker. Once I'm done making those changes, I want to go back to select. That way I can move on to another material. Depending on the image you import, the size isn't apples to apples. You may need to make adjustments once you add the materials to SketchUp. This concludes this video on how to import a finished material to SketchUp Pro. I hope you found this free tutorial helpful. If you would like to receive more SketchUp tutorials or other training tips, feel free to sign up at gainteriorsolutions.com slash SketchUp.